And welcome to Strom, the first autumn episode presented by Atlas Castle and me, 59 Perlen. I hope you're having a good time and everyone a warm welcome who's joining us in the chat tonight to have a little hangout with us and also everyone who is just streaming the show later on. Welcome and I hope you're gonna enjoy the selection of tracks that we have for you because a lot of stuff happened in the past few weeks since we uh, streamed our last episode and we have a couple of pretty cool tracks to share with you today. Um, it's super dark and it's super muddy here in Zurich um, and yeah, it's turning autumn actually. That is why I have selected a very warming track for you guys, which is slowly um, pushing and pulling you into this episode from our friend, Formal Process. He just dropped a super nice, pretty cool album, which is titled Dark Ones. And um, this track I've selected is the opener track that is titled, ooh, I forgot it, <laughs> fuck. Um, uncertain Edge, sorry guys. Um, and I've selected this one because it is super warm. It, it gives you so many textures um, and it's like a little ambient chill uh, track with a lot of details in the sound design. I think Carl did a really cool job. And um, I think it's time for this track, Formal Process, available, available on Petit Victory Collective. Enjoy Uncertain Edge, guys. Thank you. 
people welcome back and yeah episode 15 of strum time flies and we're delighted to be back at you guys today with matthias the track from before from formal process that was something dark and moody and if you enjoyed that piece you should just take time i think to reach out listen to the full album and just enjoy the ride so yeah now it's my turn to come in with a new track and I would say that I was quite surprised when I got the notification for that one because it's from a man that I met some years ago on the internet. I think it was back in 2019 or maybe 2020. And we got to connect through an old community called Netview. It was basically a community of producers and indie artists hanging out together. And we were back then learning from each other, learning from like... I would say production techniques and how to mix, how to master, uh, how to take care of your peer and how to grow up together at the wall. And then we met through that community and the man was really good at producing and releasing drum and bass music. And then you know what happened, Corona and stuff. And I think everything went a little bit down. And even though we're not talking to each other every day, we kind of stayed in touch. And when I got the notification, I must admit that I was really hyped. And yeah, I think without waiting any further, if you guys are into liquid drum and bass, and I would even call it like good UK garage drum and bass, this is for you. It's from MJ and it's called Hi. See you on the other side.
Hey guys, welcome back to Strom. Um, I was super happy to see um, this track from Enjoy in my Instagram feed because I know this guy from a long time ago and I had the pleasure to meet him in one of my previous podcasts and he's a super nice guy. So congratulations to this uh, super nice release, um, Enjoy. Um, welcome back to the show for my next track selection. I have a little story that I want to tell you. Um, as some of you um, followed me, I had a lot of travels in the past week, so that was like my big holidays this year. And one of my stops have been in Amsterdam and I was joining our friend Teeter's release party. He released his EP Alive and had a little live um, performance during this perfor uh, event as well. And I met a super nice guy that you might know from Petit Victory Collective. His name is Timmy. And we had a super nice hangout. Um, we have been chatting around about hardware and everything. So there was a very good connection with this guy. Um, he invited me for a little interview on his podcast. If you don't know this guy, check him out. His name is Timmy. He's uh, interviewing modular artists and um, electronic doorless artists. Um, in his podcast is pretty interesting. You should check this out. And I have selected a track from him or I asked him to send me a track. And this track is titled Lotus and Lotus is featured on PT Victory Collective's latest collective um, comp compilation. Um, various Artists Volume 2. You should really check this out if you haven't done that. Um, it's a lot of cool music on this compilation. So check this out. This is Timmy and Lotus. Thank you. 
And that track from Tim May, that was something, nice experimentation. And I like that we went like a little bit far away from what we're used to share with you guys. It's still in the electronic spectrum, but way more jazzy and there are some great vibes into it. And that ending with the piano and the keys, that was fresh. So yeah, right now I want to introduce you to another track. This one is from another UK act that I really love. It's a duo and they're called Movement 81. I would say that I'm really into what they're doing and the way they're doing it because when it comes to music, you know, you can just be and only focused on the storytelling through the sounds and the music itself. But those guys, it's like, the ticket to another level and it's art in all its forms if i can say like this so it's basically more than music it's related to the visuals and to the whole story and and also related to art from other artists and everything is colliding together in a nice way and i don't know every time i listen to their music i look at the process and i try to get into their mind like how they did that I just get transported into a new world dimension and it's super inspiring if you ask me and yeah that track was featured as well on the latest pvc compilations called minimal city volume 3 and it's just a nice one so i think you guys should just sit down relax with us and enjoy what's coming for you it's called sevens and it's from movement 81 see you in a bit Thank you. 
Hello to all living beings. Uh, this is Leo from Marseille, France. Uh, some of you might know me by my artist name, Zirio. And I'm delighted to have been invited to join this new episode of Strom. So thank you, Matthias, and thank you, Guillaume. Uh, the guys asked me to talk a bit about uh, myself, so let's do it. Currently, I'm dedicating time to compose my first EP on PVC. And uh, I'm also spending time with my friend, uh, Feinst, for our project uh, Zeris. And uh, it's a live uh, machine performance. It's a doorless live. Uh, it's blending uh, melodic techno and uh, cinematic electronics in a way. Uh, it's a complex uh, project. Uh, we've been working on it uh, for about three years now. I've also recently started hosting a weekly show on Massive Radio where I invite different DJs and sound creators to share uh, their sets and mixes. Uh, the idea is to maintain a sense of storytelling um, in the mixes we, we present. And so thanks to Armin and uh, all the team of Massive Radio to inviting me to be part of this exciting and uh, motivating uh, project. Well, enough talking about me. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to an artist I discovered uh, just over a year ago uh, with his track Control. His name is Decomin, and uh, to be honest, I don't know much about him. Uh, his latest EP explores a mix of uh, electronics, uh, electronica and break uh, with a really strong melodic aspect and sometimes uh, uh, he's drifting on an ambient uh, textures. And the track I want to share with you today is called uh, Lost Time, and uh, I really like it for uh, different reasons: the the works and the work on the vocals, and uh, the subtle uh, variation and the, the arrangement. So I hope you will enjoy uh, this track too. And uh, greetings to all. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. 
Welcome back guys and for the next track that I have selected I have to turn all of my lights blue. I don't know if you can see that but if you know Tony's profile um, aka Fluid Sky you know why I have to do this. He is really into blue colors and um, that is why I think I have to do this. Um, I follow Tony for a long, long, long time and he's a very cool musician. He's a cool artist um, and he's a talented uh, writer. His songs have a lot of melodic elements and um, some chill wave um, going on, but more into the dance EDM um, genre. I have selected the track from him and I asked him if he wants to get a feature on the podcast and he was so friendly and provide a track which I can't spell actually. It's called Volatilize, I guess. <laughs> and um, yes, enjoy this track. It's a super nice work of him again. And if you don't know him, his name is Fluids Guy on Instagram. Follow this guy, he really deserves some more attention. Enjoy Fluids Guy, my friends.
And we're back. And that track from before, from Flute Sky, that was something. I really enjoyed the vibe, really fresh, really well produced as well. And that is really funny because that that blue gimmick, that's something that the man has been really good at sticking into. And I think I've met him as well with Matthias back then around 2020 or something. And it's been blue since that day. And I think it was even blue before we met him. And for every time you can see new hard work, new video, new jam, new whatever, it will always be blue. And I love that because every time I see something, I just know it's all man. And that's great. It's nice when there is some kind of strong gimmick going on and you can relate to the artist straight away as soon as you see the content. So, I mean, we should learn from that probably. <laughs> all right, let's talk about what's coming next. And for you guys, I choose a track from none other than Silence Castor. Our friend Nate, it's not the first time you hear about him. He's been on with us for some time. He's been releasing music under various compilations with albums and stuff under PVC on his own as well. His latest album is actually wonderful. It's a soundtrack, Bouncer. And if you haven't listened to it, you're missing on something. So don't be shy. Check it out because it's worth it. And for you guys right now, one of his latest experimentation, latest track, I think he's been playing with some sample from Blade Runner. So the main theme is already all settled. It's cinematic. It's drawing you into the, the universe in the music. And I think it's pretty great. And as always, the man is really good at setting the mood and really good at taking you on a journey. All right, I'm going to stop the talking now and without waiting any further, Electric Chip from Silence Castor. You enjoy.
All right, back on Strom and um, for my last track for today, I selected something that is a little more on the punchy side. It's a drum and bass track from our friend Hanjo featuring Kans. And this track is called Traces. And with this track, I want to say thank you for joining this episode. We have one more track after this um, selected from Atlas. And I wish you a nice autumn season. Enjoy the first Glühwein at the Glühwein market. Um, I wish you lots of greetings from Zurich. Take care and stay safe, my friends. friends you know that sentence i think i say it almost every time it's a classic now i think i should sample that sorry and try to make some techno bangers out of it or something i don't know try to think about it like hey we're back <laughs> sorry i think i'm tired but anyway just wanted to say thanks for being here with us tonight it's gonna be the last run i'm gonna be the one clothing the show a huge Thanks to Zerio for being a guest of Terry's. That man, you should check him out as well. He is like one of the most prolific producer that I know. And I think everyone should agree with that because the man has several projects, several alias, and he's just releasing music constantly and always on a high level. So keep up, man, because it's impressive and inspiring as well. And yeah. 
to close the show today, I choose a track and a remix actually from Data Rune. And I'm quite sure you heard about Data Rune before. It might ring a bell because the man is not new here. We've been featuring him sometimes already. And the track that he remixed for today is originally from Schollinger called Escalation. And it's a great remix. And I don't know, I'm always inspired by Kai's process when it comes to write music, when it comes to to play with the rhythmic and the elements that are really like, you know, making you move and making you vibe. And what I find amazing when it comes to Kai's process, it's the way that it can keep you like attentive all the way through and almost like if it was getting you in a in a trance like in the mood from the start till the end really good at progressions really good at building things up and that track shows actually and i'm quite sure you're gonna enjoy that so i'm gonna stop the talking now i'm gonna wish you guys a lovely sunday thanks for sticking with us if there's some tracks that we should listen to and feature reach out anytime if you want to be a guest next time and share some music to the people out there reach out as well because that's what it's all about and we're here to stay so let's enjoy the music have some fun and hanging out together you all take care thanks for being here as always and we will see you in about a month peace
Thank you.